Happy Saturday. Patience. Patience is a virtue. I struggle with patience constantly. And I was, as I was growing up, I was, you know, lambasted with, you need to be patient. Why are you not patient? It was just the, the whole, it was the patience game, which derives from Patai, which, and I may be mispronouncing that, P-A-T-I, the Latin word, to suffer. Which is interesting, because life is, is suffering. Life is patience. Life is, just life is, right? The human experience each of our experiences judges the experience. But life, to live and then to die. What happens in between that journey? Maybe that is the, uh, that is the eye of the beholder. How does the individual frame their story, frame their experiences? Do they look through the lens of gratitude or do they look through the lens of difficulty and hardship and victimhood? And some of the, some people that I've met in my life that have had a life of tragedy still choose to look through the lens of gratitude, which I think just feeds the fuel of evidence that, okay, it's all in the eye of the beholder. What's the perceptor I'm choosing to look through? What's the filter I'm slipping between uh, my le the lens of me and the world? And who am I? I'm just, I really believe, just a spiritual being having this human experience of Jeff Newman. And you are having your human experience fill in your name. That's it. It's that simple, and the ego, the me, can, con can, can just complicate it all. You don't know how I feel, or blah, blah. It, it, yeah. We're all feeling very similarly, attached to different key points in our life, different trauma, different events, different circumstances that resonate more in our hearts than others. But we're, we're so similar. And the cliche, when you get beyond certain things and you hear a story and you're like, oh my God, it's, it's so cliche. It's because we're, we've all had those experiences. And when I hear that stuff, I tend to just laugh as inappropriate as it may be at the time. I'm like, oh, my laughter is connected in a sense, I feel like, to my memory of, like, my suffering. Oh, I've been through that. It was no fun whatsoever. It was, it was actually very painful. And I smile. And I, because I am, it's a similar song. It's a similar memory that someone else has experienced. And we can be vulnerable together and talk about the hardship and know that we have not, that we have, that we're not going through this experience alone. That's the choice. To suffer in silence is a choice. To be vulnerable with another human being about the suffering you both may have had or are having is the beauty of what we get to do. I don't know. This is one thought on a Saturday. Big light. Much love. Have a fantastic day.